Hello friends, welcome to part 6 of the Angular series and in this part we are going to look into two-way binding in Angular. Now before we start our tutorial on this two-way binding concept, let us see what is the demo that we are going to build in this video. So here we are going to build a movie store application where we are going to display the movie names and when you click on a particular movie name it will display information about that movie. Now for showing two-way binding concept what I will do is I will show the movie price when you click on the movie name and you can change the price on the text box and then it will reflect back on your view page. So this way we will be showing you two-way binding where you take the value from the component class and then display over here and then when you change the information on the viewed side it gets changed into the component class. We will continue to update this same application in our future videos so that you can use your learning to bring and develop a nice application. So let's start with taking a overall idea of what is the binding concept in general and then we will dive into the two-way binding as such. We have been seeing this screen in our earlier videos. So the data binding can be categorized basically into one-way binding and two-way binding. So one-way binding means when you transfer your data from either component class to the view side or from the view side to the component class. Now there is another thing which is called two-way binding which is done using the ng model directive. Now if you go and see this overview diagram so as I told if you want to transfer data from component to the view side you use the property binding so that that variables that you defined on the component class you can access them on the view side and display the information on the view side using the property binding or the interpolation now if you want to you want to send the information or you change the information on your view page or using your form and you want to send that data back to the component class then you can use the event binding. Now this whole thing is a circle, you know, which basically looks like as a two-way binding. So can we combine them? Yes, we can do combine them and they can work together to act as a two-way binding by itself. So if you want to combine them and use them as a two-way binding concept, you can do that using the syntax like this. So for example, if you have a input box, and in that input box you want to show the data from the component class to the view side you can use the property binding like this so you can have these brackets and then you can display the value into the input box using the value that has been defined in the component class so this property movie details dot price was defined in the component class and you are displaying that on your value of your text box now if you want to send the value which is you type on the text box then you need to use event binding. So how do you work on the event binding? So if for example you have this input is a kind of an event. So you wrap your event with the parenthesis. So these are the parenthesis and then you provide the expression value as the name of the value that you want to update and then you need to provide as equal to sign dollar $event where dollar event is a payload, payload information that will contain all the details about this whole input tag. So once you have dollar event, then you can target the value. So means whatever you type in this value, it will get passed on to this property that is defined on your component class side. So this in all is kind of a two way binding. But do you see the syntax? This is such a big syntax plus you have a lot of repetitions over here. This variable has been repeated twice to just transfer data back and forth. And imagine if you have a lot of items on your form doing the same thing will be a lot cumbersome. So to do that, Angular has introduced a very simple syntax called ng-model. So ng-model is a kind of a directive that we use to do the two-way binding. So two-way binding basically allows you to update a property and at the same time display the value of that property on the view side. So it can do the both the operations with a very small syntax for you. So how do you do that? You have a bracket and a parenthesis model over here which looks like a banana in a box which is widely called in an Angular society in this form. 
Now, if you see closely, this is the syntax of the property binding and this is the syntax of a event binding. So it's combined together and then you put ng model as the directive over here which does the trick for you and how is it is if you see this i have written the same syntax with this ng model directive and you can see the difference over here we just enclose with a bracket inside and inside that we have a parenthesis we write ng model and then we have the equivalent expression which is movie details dot price so this one can do binding on both directions now we will see this example with a live demo so this is the movie store demo that we are looking to create which will consist of two div so for the first div this will contain listing of all the movie names the second div contains the details about that movie so quickly going back to vs code editor i will copy the two div paste it over there so that i don't waste your much time now these are the two divs and I have already created the class called movie name and movie details. So to display the movie names, what we will do is in the backend, in actual application, it will come from the database. But for this demo, we will create a property called uh, movie details that will have all the information. So we have just, we will just place the details so that it doesn't waste your time. Now this is the movie details property where it contains a string name name of the movie, director, who is the director, the genre of the movie, the available CDs, how many CDs are there available and the price of that one CD. So this is the information about a single movie that I have kept. So I will display that information. So if for example, I want to display just the movie name. So over here I will, I can do interpolation to that particular movie details. So that will display the name of the movie over here. I have displayed the name of the movie now i want to display the price and the dvd left in the store just below it i can give a break row over here again and i have to display the price of the movie so i will say price this will display the price and then there is one more thing that i am displaying is the dvd left in the store that is also through interpolation movie details change this to available cd now the other thing is that when you click on this uh, movie details name over here it should show the div so by default it should be in a hidden state so for that let me create a toggle property over here so i will say my toggle which is a boolean property so I'll say boolean and by default it will be set to false so only when there is a click event that will happen from on this place so I will create a href tag over here so I will say href is going it's not going anywhere so I will just say hash and then uh, so there will be a click event over here so this event will use event binding method i will call the method on click so i can say on click i can put this name of the movie inside the a tag you just close this so this will call this method called on click so if i go to my on click over here i can say on click and over here i will just say this dot my toggle is equal to not this dot my toggle so basically it will just on and off it will just toggle on and off the particular div now how do i turn this particular the second div over here to display and hide so to do this i will use the style binding we will do style dot visibility and uh, i will be connecting it to my toggle variable so based on this variable over here i will put a question mark so this is this will choose between visible so if it is true it will be 
made visible and if it is if it is false then it will be made hidden so this is this will do the toggling of this particular section now let's see if this much is working first before we go ahead so this is the place inter explorer where this application is already running in the watch mode now if i click on this one see this one is toggling on and off now still we have not seen the two way binding so i will let me start straight away go to the price field so i will say price and i will use the input tag over here so input and uh, the type is i will say text and over here so if i want to use two way binding using both the property binding and uh, the event binding value which will be the property binding and i will take the value of price over here so i will say movie detail dot price and then because now this one this will get the value from the component class to the view template now if i want to send the value back from the view side to the component side to the component class side i will use the event binding so the event will be uh, as input so input is a event so if you are unaware of it so input is a event over here and when you use this input i will put the expression over here inside this bracket the thing that will be updated is will be movie detail dot price so i have to reuse this thing so i'll copy this movie detail price will be getting updated and how it will be and with what value it will be getting updated is using the dollar event so this is the payload information that will contain the whole information about this input tag dot target dot value so whatever is the value inside this payload will be taken and put it inside this movie detail dot price value so this is how the two way binding will work if i go back and i show you this and i click on this titanic and if i say 23 see this one gets displayed so this one was using the both the property and event binding this one is a very big syntax and also it has lot of repetition so if you see this one this particular line is repeated twice over here so i have referred twice to the movie details dot price and also to remember and write the syntax is very cumbersome if you have lot of input tags it will be very difficult for you to write this one again and again so uh, angular provides us a very smaller and concise way of doing this and uh, what we can do is we can just remove this part and over here instead of this one we can say ng model and as as i told you that ng model uh, comes inside a banana in a box kind of structure so this is the box and banana is inside the box so i will say banana go inside the box so this one is the ng model that sits inside this box now this command if you see is pretty simple pretty easy to understand so over here if you want two way binding then you just put ng model declarative and you provide the uh, variable that has that has that will be basically connected to the two way binding so our price variable is now property is now connected to the two way binding so what if i can go back and show you the output now as i see over here there is nothing getting displayed uh, let me check the issue i can go to the developer toolbar uh, i can press f12 key over here so it says that ng model is isn't a known property of input uh, input uh, control over here so definitely because uh, we have angular doesn't know about this ng model declarative and uh, this comes under the forms module so if i have to to let angular know about this i have to go to app module dot ts and over here i will have to import the forms module so just copy paste it again so that i can do it faster and i will change to forms module and this one comes part of forms 
and the same will be included under the imports comma and then the name so these are the two modules that we will be importing now once it is done let's save it and let's go back and see the demo so see uh, now you are not getting an error now if you click over here so the same thing the price is getting displayed it's getting displayed with value 20 now this one is the property binding that is happening from the component class it is say getting the value from there now if i change any value over here this value will be sent back to the component class so this is how it is getting sent back so you can see the state is getting maintained across the board so uh, this is just an example so we will be continue Going to work on the same example in future so if you see that now the price if you want to change the price of the movie you can change it like this so I can just send back this new price of this movie so this is how the two-way data binding works in angular so just to complete this uh, application so that it looks somewhat closer to this one um, what I will do is I will just quickly add the other pieces over here so movie selected piece and the name of the director I have added now basically movie selected is just showing the into using interpolation and the name of the director is used doing through the property binding the name of the director so pretty simple the only piece which is the S2 binding is the price which I have already done for you now let me see the let me save it over here so if I click it so you see the name of the director is James Cameron so if I do this one it changes the price component over here so this is how it does with the two-way binding i hope you would have liked and learned from today's video which was on two-way data binding in angular and i will highly request and recommend to like and subscribe our channel help me coder so that we can keep you in form of our new videos and as we want to reach the 1000 subscriber mark so we will request your help in doing so also if you have any queries or questions or if you want to give your feedback on how we make videos or you can you can definitely write back to us you can provide your comments in the description box below in the comment section below and we will definitely get back to you on your questions or your feedback till next time thanks for watching and happy coding